And now together, inhale, bring our hands to the heart chakra, Anjali Mudra. Sharing Palava three times, take a breath in. Oh. I just wanted to notice that yes, we're all cloud covered in, but it's actually rather really auspicious this weather because the goddess Dumabati, one of the 10 Tatric goddesses, that's Mahavidyas. Goddess Dumabati is all about the smoky illusion and how she obscures reality with Maya. And this exactly represents her when we're all fogged in. It's Dumavati. And what's interesting about her is all the other goddesses, as I said yesterday, the Shiva Shakti um, uh, principle, where it's just a different side of the same coin, she actually is completely all feminine. So even though, you know, we talk about Shiva, uh, Mal, Shakti, feminine, and they merge and integrate together, she's completely feminine. So through the smoke through the fog, she's giving us really hard lessons in life. But the lesson is to go beyond and see the beauty of all this diversity of nature, and that Maya is just there as lessons to us. So she she's a hard task master. She's usually depicted as um, an unappealing old looking woman. Yeah, the what we call crone, uh, the animal depicted with her is the crow. We'll talk about the symbolism of that. And yeah, smoky, foggy, that, that is how she's characterized. And her energy is, is really, it is Maya. It is the beauty of Maya. It's there for a reason. It's not there to hurt us. 
is there to help us through our spiritual path. So it's quite auspicious that we have this kind of day to day. Um, <laughs> um, I'd like to also go through a guru mantra. This is a really fun mantra. Kieran and I learned this in Chennai in, in um, our first or our second Nobi teacher training. So it's Guru Brahma. Guru Brahma is the Lord of all. Guru Vishnu, he is like the sustainer. Guru Deva Maheshwara Shiva. Guru Shasha Param Brahma. That means like this is the supreme power. And remember, even though these may look as masculine words, there's no difference. There's no gender in spirituality. So yes, we look at Maya, we look at property, we look at Shakti, and we see diversification because that's her thing, diversification. But it's all lessons to show us that it still all goes back to one. So even when you, you look at mantras or words that, that and the service may appear very male, and, they may, and in your mind, through culture and conditioned mind, you may have a whole backstory of what that means. Well, in Tantra, in Veda, in Yoga, that's not there. There is no gender because we're all one. We're all one consciousness. But the beauty of diversification is that we can look at it in so many different ways and learn whatever lessons we need to. Tasma Shri Guru Namaha, that is surrendering and giving devotion to what is the Supreme. And the Supreme is the Shiva, Shiva Shakti principle. All right? So uh, repeat after me. Let's bring our hands to heart center. Take a few breaths. And I'll go phrase by phrase. Take a breath in. Guru Brahma. Guru Brahma. Guru Vishnu. So come into Tadasana, you know your marks. Now Lisa, do you have a Tadasana um, practice? No, I've done yoga. I did yoga for like two years. But okay. I never had any like formal training. I was just in college doing it. Okay, no, that's great. That's great. That just helps me um, think about how I want to um, do the class. So I will be giving alignment cues. But for those of you who have a regular practice, um, just go with the flow. Try to tune me out. But the reason why I give alignment cues is so that we're all safe in terms of our joint and our large muscle groups. I just want everybody to be safe. And remember, you don't have to do uh, like your full expression of the pose right in the first five minutes. Just gently warm up and, and try and refine your awareness of what's going on inside your body. That's more important than touching your toes. All right? So in Tadasana, we try to bring attention to 
The big toes, the big toes, and the outer heel. That's called within the arch. And as we lift the arch, we have a slight external rotation of the knees, which automatically externally rotates through the hips. So we have a nice open channel. And my ankles are over my knees, my knees are over my hips. And it is impossible to have an injury in the lower body if we can maintain this awareness. If we tend to arch our back up, we do a little gentle pelvic tilt without flexing the buttocks. It's all here. Flexors. Roll the shoulders up and back, hands up by your sides. Look forward. You still where your chin is. Perhaps she's forward and your back so it's nice and line with your spine. We're ready. Open up the hands. Inhale, arms up. And exhale down. As we do this two more times, we extend from the heart to the fingertips. Inhale up. And exhale. Inhale up, lift. this time lift the chin, drop the head. Hold here, drop the shoulders away from the ears. Review the integrity of toes, ankles, knees, hips, pelvis. Hold here. Nice deep breaths, letting the belly inflate. Using the abdominal muscles for that active exhale. And to return, take a breath in. And next time, release the head down to neutral. Hands by your sides. Side bends, inhale, arms up. Now, I'm just turning to the seat there. And next up to the right. Shine the heart. You can look through the left armpit. Let's do our best to keep our hips square. Keep extending. One way to think about our shoulders is if instead of thinking about our shoulders, we think about our shoulder blades, letting them drop down the spine and then towards the middle. Hold here for four, three, two, and one. Inhale very slowly, gently come back up. Hold here, just for a few breaths, let the body come back to a state of equilibrium. And then to the left side, take a breath in and exhale to your left. Take your time, you may need three to five exhales to really come into the position. Equal weight on both feet. Try not to hyperextend the knees. Nice, even stretch through the spine. Let's hold here for four. Three. Two, and one. To come out, inhale, gently come back. And as we release the hands. You stay where you are. I'm going to turn sideways just to show you the back bend in stages. Open up the hands to the sides. Inhale, arms up. At the top, hands together. And next time, we get the shoulders down. Think about angling from the pelvis to the feet. Inhale, try and go tall. So release tension through the chest. As you exhale, only the arms come behind you. Now in this position, perhaps your shoulders started to creep out to the ears, so let's bring them down. In this position, sometimes a rib hinge juts out. Let's bring that pelvis under once more. Now in a nice position to inhale once more, grow tall, relax, and then exhale from your back bend. Keep shining the heart up towards the sky, dropping the shoulders. Feel that big toe out of here. Protecting your foundation. Hold here. The more you relax to the front of the body, the deeper the back bend. For four, three, two, and one. To come up, inhale, gently come up slowly. Bend the knees. Exhale, swing them down. Keep your knees bent as you come all the way down. At the bottom, knees are bent. Drop the head. Let the shoulders come to your ears. Now, do this. Your hands can be in line with your feet behind your inner side. And let's just hold here. Forward bends are common positions. Back bends are stimulating. So this is a really nice counter pose to let the central nervous system come back to a state of equilibrium. 
And a short account of four, three, two, and one. Just listen to my words as we reverse one guide in steps to come up. Lift the head, that's going to cause the back to lengthen. Your torso probably is about parallel or almost parallel to the mat now. Inhale the arms out to the side, palms down. And now inhale again, you come all the way up and reverse palm guide. Look at your hands. And exhale, hands come to our sides. Nice, slow sun salutation. Open up the palms, inhale, arms up. At the top, look at your hands. Hands together, exhale to your heart. In stages, let's do the back bend. Inhale, arms up. At the top, stay here. Exhale, release the shoulders. Review your foundation. Inhale, grow tall. Exhale, only the arms come behind you. Review your foundation. Inhale, relax, grow tall. Then exhale, come into the back bend. Inhale, come back to center. Feel that you're not being aligned over your hips. Bend knees, exhale, swan dive down to forward fold. If it's in your practice, go ahead. Straighten the knees, drop the head, roll the shoulders back. Right foot as you inhale, step the right foot back. Right knee down, come into your lunge. Shine the heart. Inhale, step back, and exhale, downward facing dog. Hold it here for one inhale. Exhale means chest chin. Inhale up the cobra. Hold here. Now we're switching the breath. Expanding the rib cage, letting the belly be nice and soft. Feel that switch of the breath. Holding for two. And one. Inhale to plank. And exhale down with facing down. Hold it here, dropping the head for five, four, three, two, and one. Looking at your hands, inhale, step the right foot forward, coming into your lunge. Exhale, step the left foot forward, right foot forward, forward. Bend your knees, lift the head, lengthen in the back. Inhale, send the arms in front of you. Inhale, rise up all the way to your back bend. And then exhale, come back to center. And by your sides. Repeat it on the left. Inhale, up top. Exhale to your heart. Back bend is changes. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hold here, find your position. Inhale, grow tall. Exhale, only the arms from behind you. Inhale, grow tall. And exhale, back bend. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, bend the knees, slide back down, forward fold. Inhale, step the left foot back into the lunge. Exhale, step back into down with your chest. Hold here for the inhale. Exhale, your chest chin. Inhale, cobra or space. Hold here, switch that breath, so you lift your stand to the sides for two. And one. Then have to play. And exhale, now we're facing God. Hold it here. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Now sit at your hands. Give us the left foot forward with your lunge. Exhale. Right foot forward and forward forward. Bend knees, lift head, lengthen the back, inhale, arms in front of you. And now inhale all the way up for back bend. And exhale. 
Let's repeat that cycle, but we'll skip a few of the steps. Open up the hands, inhale, on top. At the top, looking at your hands, hands together, exhale to your heart. In one breath, inhale, back bend. One breath, exhale, forward, fold. Inhale, right back into your lunge. Exhale, downward facing dog. Hold your feet, inhale. Exhale, knees, chest, chin. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Holding here. Five. Four. Three, two, and one. Looking at your hands, you have to right foot forward. Exhale, left forward, forward, forward. One breath, inhale, back bend. And exhale, return. Left side, inhale up. Exhale to your heart. One breath, inhale back in. Exhale forward, forward. Inhale, left foot back into lunge. Exhale, down with facing down. Holding in the inhale. Exhale, and shift, shift. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, down with facing dog. Hold it here for five, four, three, two, and one. Looking at your hands, you just step the left foot forward. Exhale, forward, forward. Inhale, back bend. And so we try. Hands by our sides. The glass is a close your eyes. Review your foundation. Review your breath. Try and release tension in the middle and upper chest. Sun salutation, Surya Nanda Star with the mantra. Nice and slow. The only uh, breath cues are as you enter and leave. Otherwise, just breathe normal. Open your eyes, let's begin. Arms are open, inhale, arms up. At the top, look at your hands. The next up to your heart center. Repeating after me. Oh, we try it. Om Haranya Gavave Namaha. 
Extend the arms, tuck the chin, round the back. Fold four. Nice slow count of eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. And one. As you exhale, gently take the butt down. Come into Dandasana, snap pose, arms extended up high. 
chin is a nice extension, nice alignment. Drop the shoulders, that is a neutral position. Let's have a gentle flexion of the ankles. Then you come out of the pose, take a breath in. As you exhale, release the hands down to your side to so use your hands for support and lay down. Keep our legs active as we come into a spinal twist all together. Listen to my words if you're not used to um, the, the way I, I cue things. As you inhale, extend the arms to the sides, palms up. Using a pelvic tilt, which is going to engage the core muscles before we float our knees over the hips. So all together, take a breath in. As you exhale, contract the abdominals, feel that pelvic tilt, and that's when you float the knees up. That way we're always protecting our lower back and activating the core at the same time. Easy spinal twist to the right. First, take a breath in. And as you exhale, allow the knees to fall right. You look left. Let's do our best not to fidget and hold. Coming to the other side, we're also going to use the same pelvic tilt to activate the core muscles. So all together, take a breath in. Exhale, contract, feel that tilt, and then the, full, the knees to the top. Continue to exhale, knees to left, you look to right. And as we get into position, do our best to stay in stillness. Letting the knees fall to the left, you look to the right. And coming out, take a breath in. As you exhale, contract, fill that to both the knees to center. Hold here, inhale, hands to knees. Exhale, knees to chest. Release any tension in the hips. Doesn't matter if your knees are wide or together. Let's do our best to widen the shoulders down on the mat. And then just check your neck. Is your chin and head in neutral position? If not, make adjustments. Switch both hands to the left knee. As you exhale, extend the right knee down the mat. Really push out through the heel and then place the leg down. On your next exhale, release the hands, extend the left leg down the mat. Stretch out through the hips, through the heel. And now both arms, palms facing in. Inhale, lift the arms up towards the sky, lifting the shoulders off the mat just a little bit. Really stretch through the fingertips. And then as you exhale, release the hands, palms down next to your hips. Release any tension you feel from the hip, the knee, the ankle, allow the legs to fall out to the sides. Then let's just enjoy Savasana.
And before we change our sense of awareness, let's just observe our breath. Let's observe the feel and the weight of our body against the mat. Bring our awareness back to what we call the Nama Rupa, or the sense, mind, sense, body, mind, sense, reality, feeling the weight, feeling the breath. Gently being a witness to those sensations and movements, start to move your toes and ankles. Fingers and wrists. Doing our best to witness the movements rather than being the movements. And then as we continue from the movement to the knees, flexing and extending the knees, causing the hips to rise, Perhaps moving the hips from side to side, which gives a really nice undulation to the spine, allowing the head to move from side to side. Perhaps curl up into a little ball, knees to chest. That feels good. Perhaps tucking the head, doing a nice extension to the back. And then on the next exhale, let's go ahead and roll over to the right hand side. And stay here for a few breaths just enjoying the sensation. And with the support of your hands, on and exhale, activate those core muscles and find a nice seated position. And we should move our palms facing up. Eyes are closed. Finding that alignment that feels comfortable to you allowing space throughout the torso for the lungs to expand 
The internal organs to work at peak efficiency, holding our head over the spine, shoulders relaxed. And all together, inhale, bring hands to heart center, Anjali Mudra, doing our best to have equal pressure on the right and the left side, the thumbs gently touching at the middle of our chest. This is a balancing and harmonizing pose, Shiva Shakti principles in terms of the energy currents flowing through the body, coming into the central channel, up through the chakras. And helping merge the sound into those energy channels. Let's share the carnival one time. Take a breath in. Oh. Smokiness of Goddess Dumabhati, go ahead and gently open your eyes, completely changing our sense of awareness now. Eyes are wide open as you exhale, hands together back to your heart center. And namaste, everyone. I think it's really nice in a class, especially of this size, if we take the time and we just namaste to Dina, namaste to Namaste, Karen. Chelsea. Namaste. Namaste, Alicia. Namaste, Robert. Namaste. Namaste, y'all. I'm always supposed to go to say. Jesse, Namaste, Jesse.